Well, the announcement that Chief Justice Ronald George will retire in January took most by surprise. And here to tell us about his legacy and the future of the court, Scott Schaefer, host of California Report on KQED Public Radio. Welcome, Scott. Thanks, Bella. So why was this announcement such a surprise? Well, because there was every indication that Ronald George was going to run again and stand for reconfirmation for another 12-year term. He had indicated that in the past. Uh, there weren't any big problems on the court that he was trying to get away from. Some of the budget issues seemed to be settled. Uh, and so uh, it was a big, big surprise. Uh, there was no big campaign to oust him. Uh, and so everyone just kind of assumed. I mean, he's 70 years old, which for many people would seem like retirement age. But as judges go, it's really not that old. And so uh, all of his colleagues were shocked to learn that he was deciding not to run again. And they learned on the same day we did, which was uh, this Wednesday. Well, how much do you think politics played uh, in this decision? He was uh, the key judge in uh, the uh, Proposition 8 uh, decision. And that could have been some trouble for him coming up for reconfirmation. Well, after there were two real gay marriage rulings, of course, three, essentially, but the second one where, where, where gay marriage was legalized in California in 2008, that opened the door for a few months. He was the he wrote that four to three ruling. Uh, and then he later also wrote the six to one ruling, which upheld Prop 8, which slammed the door closed. So on both sides, there were people who thought he was heroic uh, for uh, striking a blow for equality. But then there were people who were also pleased that he uh, stood up for Proposition 8 and the will of the voters. So there was but there was no real indication that uh, there was a big campaign against him. So I don't think that played a big role. In terms of politics, though, he did make it clear that he is quite happy with Governor Schwarzenegger getting to pick his successor. Mm. So what were his contributions to the court? He has a, a reputation for many lawyers that uh, he's been good for the court. He has. Uh, it's very hard to find people who will say a bad word about Ronald George. Uh, in terms of, uh, he, you know, the, the chief justice is also the head of the Judicial Council, which oversees all the local courts, the trial courts and the appellate courts. And he made a point of making the courts more accessible to the people that they serve. He visited all 58 counties in California to talk to judges and people that worked in the courts. Um, he instituted uh, plain English jury instructions, uh, which were more understandable mm -hmm. for juries. He uh, made the web uh, much more accessible. He allowed cameras in the courtroom. So he did things that really brought, opened up the courtroom and increased transparency and efficiency. Just changing the jury rules, it was how long you had to come and wait around to be called or not called. Exactly. I, I had a clever way of doing that. I guess you just called in once? You or just no? have to, if you, yeah, it's, I think you have to check by phone, but if you actually make your way into a courtroom mm -hmm. one day that and you're not called, you're free. And so it just made it more, more easy for people to serve. What about the rest of the court? I mean, will this court hold together? I mean, their decisions have been, there's not been a lot of rancor that we know about. Uh, and the chief gets a lot of credit for that, for that civility and collegiality. Um, there's f the other six justices. Five of them have been appointed uh, by Republican governors. Uh, Carlos Moreno, the only Democrat appointed by Gray Davis. And so now there's a, a question of who will succeed Ronald George. And the governor can go one of two ways. He can elevate one of the other six justices. And there's been talk about uh, perhaps Ming Chin or Carol Corrigan, particularly Carol Corrigan, because she was appointed to the court by uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, or he could decide he's just going to pick somebody else from outside the court to uh, appoint as chief justice. And there are some district court judges whose names have come up, and some outside the box names, like Tom Campbell or uh, Clark Kelso, who is a law professor at McGeorge up in Sacramento and the current receiver of the prison health care system in California. So the governor gets to make that pick. It's a big deal for him, and it could be a big part of his legacy. Uh, and then the voters will have the final say uh, if they can get it done in time in November. Yeah, I was just going to say the new uh, appointee would have to stand for confirmation. Exactly. Thank you so much, You're Scott. welcome.